Hey, it's Darnell here. Just wanted to show you something really quick with uh, some Google Pixel Buds and some Apple AirPods. Now, the Google Pixel Buds, I will say, have a charging case. The Apple AirPods do not. And this is an EMF reader to read EMF readings. And I do want to say that nothing in this video is medical advice. I am not a doctor. But I just wanted to show you some things that I found when using the EMF reader on these devices here and you can look up for yourself there are some concerns that um, you can find out there about when you put these in your ears the field that it creates and what goes on there I'm not going to be getting into that in this video but that's something you can look up on your own and you know make what you will of that but I wanted to show you here when I uh, I'm going to turn this EMF reader on so powered on and it basically, when things go over a threshold that is usually very safe for humans, it'll start beeping. Now I will say, and I do want to make it very clear, that you get EMF readings from pretty much everything electronic. I could literally put this up to a light switch and it would start beeping. I mean light switch would start beeping. Any, literally anything electronic, it's going to give a, a feel certain degrees. I mean some give more than others. Of course a light switch is not going to give as much as if you put it up to a microwave oven. So you know big difference. But just want to show you how things go here putting it up to these because I think you know most people would think that these might not give any uh, feedback at all but um, I want to just put it up to the I put it up to the pixel buds well Now if I put it at the bottom, there's like nothing. But if I put it up here, I'm getting up to like 8. Now I put it up near the top, I'm like 12. It's like 15 or 19. It, it bounces around, but it stays up when you're up around, you know, the upper ends of there where, you know, the, the uh, earpieces are. Now with the AirPods, similar type of deal. I mean, it you know it fluctuates but things go up when you're you know and these aren't in use so I just want you to imagine these in your pocket you know these are in your pocket you know and around certain areas that are near your pocket then you know whatever these are doing is uh, up against your body now I want to take the earpieces out so we got the earpieces out I'll close the cases I'm just going to set these here, like so. Now I'm going to put this up to the case again. You see, even with nothing in, the case emits a field of reading. Both of these emit, you know, still a good bit, even with nothing in them. They, they emit a good bit. So, you know, just show you that again. Now I'm going to put it up to the earpieces. So, like this is one earpiece. It's going up. Let me let me get this out the way. I'm getting these cases out the way to make sure they're in the clear. So it goes up some, not nearly as much as the case. You see, it's still below one, and I'm using the UT measurement for you who are wondering what measurement I'm using. I'm using the the UT measurement and uh, you who are more inclined about these types of things know what you know all that means but it's below one but if you do it up to the case it goes way over one it goes over into your you know sometimes we were hitting like nine or somewhere in the teens at times like over here it, it briefly hits you know it gets up there but the earpiece again it stays below one it beeps for a moment but it stays below one there so there is some but it's far less than the case now let's do the Apple AirPods when I'm up around here I, I get a little but I'm still not over one now if I put both of them together I get a little over one you know just a little Let's try the same thing with the pixel buds having those both together. It's 
still not it's not really going over one having them together oh there we go got over one for a second for a moment it went over one with these so you know with the ear pieces it's less when they're separated it's even less but the case is what really does a lot of emission in the EMF reads so you know take this for what you will you can uh, make your own choices and decisions it's just something I wanted to show you you can get one of these EMF readers uh, for not a lot of money at most stores so you know it's just interesting to get one of these and just kind of go around and just you know see what stuff is reading and this doesn't read radio frequencies I mean radio frequencies are part of EMF but if you want to get specific on radio frequencies those are a lot more expensive and those go a lot farther for sure but I don't have the equipment to do the radio um, frequency stuff for you but it's interesting stuff just to do these types of things and see what they're what they're putting out and so everybody have a good day